In the last video I have introduced you the idea of Charles Perrault about the complexity of the task and the complexity of the technology. So we can write it down again. He is focusing on the complexity, complexity of the tasks and he asks himself why do we consider some tasks to be uh, complex and some tasks to be routine and simple. And he sees two perspectives. He looks at the task variability so that how many exceptions can occur while performing the task and the task analyzability so that whether the programming of, of this uh, production process is possible. So we can write it down again. We are going to have low, low variability and low analyzability and then high and high again. Okay, let's try to think about these points or about these extremes. What does it mean when we say that task variability is low? What kind of task is it going to be? Well, there are going to be few exceptions. So, few exceptions. Exceptions, and on the other hand, there are going to be many exceptions. So, many exceptions. And again, let's, let's go one step deeper. What kind of task is it going to be that has few exceptions? Well, it is going to be the routine task. So, routine. And on the other hand, we are going to have non-routine task. So, non-routine. And we can continue at our, at our vertical perspective. So, what kind of task is it that has got low possibility for programming or that it is impossible to program? I can write it down. So, impossible, impossible programming, programming. And here, the, the, the programming is highly possible or uh, highly like to occur. So, we can say programming is possible. So, possible programming programming and we can now again write down our two points that here we are going to have the non-routine tasks so here are non-routine and here are going to be the routine tasks routine and I think you already can see it that we are going to have routine right over here and then routine here so where we should begin at the most simple point and it is going to be in this quadrant. And what what is going to be there according to the official definition is the routine manufacturing. So routine manufacturing. Manufacturing. You really can imagine some mass production here. So mass production. Production. Because what is mass production doing? Well, uh, the, the task may be very complex and very hard, but we try uh, to break it down to simple steps. So, break down, break down to some simple steps, to simple, so that we can have some low production costs. So, this is mass production. I think it is very easy to imagine that we try to create some low cost advantages and that making this task will have low variability and high analyzability so that we can program it. Let's continue to the second idea and it is going to be with the low analyzability. So we are going to be here and we are going to have also the low task variability. So we are going to be here in a routine task. So it is called the crafts work. So crafts work. Imagine, I think for imagination it is the best to say a plumber, so plumber, so that he will come to some home and he will need to adapt some existing procedures to new situations and then find a new ways how to handle these problems, so that we have got some existing procedures, existing procedures and now you can see it. Th there is there is low task variability so there are very few exceptions or very few new situations that are occurring because we have some existing procedures and we are applying these to some new situations or adapting so adapting to new situations to new situations. And that is the other point. We cannot program or we cannot know what to expect in this our next task so that 
uh, there is there is low probability or it is impossible to program our work. Okay, let's continue. Now we are going to move to the engineering production. So engineering engineering production production here the the number or the variety of the exceptions is going to be relatively high and the the solution is relatively easy right because you can you can have a programming so what company to expect here we're just imagine the company of architects so architects because they they know what to expect and they know how to build and make the house but they are going to meet some very different and varying expectations and needs so they will have to apply these their procedures so we can say or we can conclude that the uh, variety of exceptions is high so variety is high and then solution is easy so solution is easy because there, there are some well understood standard procedures that have been established to handle these exceptions and that is exactly the architecture so let's move to the last point and that is going to be the non-routine tasks so non-routine tasks and here imagine some high-tech re research so high tech research research so that tasks are going to be very complex but not only because the number of unexpected situation is high but also the search activity is high so that it is impossible to program or it is impossible to predict what is going to come so um, impossible impossible to predict to predict or to program so or to program and tasks are going to be very complex very complex because it is a research the, the variability is the highest that is possible okay so these were the four types of the technology due to Charles Perrow so he asked himself why some tasks are considered to be complex we have got two perspectives of the variability and now we have got four types so we have begin with the routine manufacturing here and I will highlight it it is the mass production we break down a little bit complex task and we are trying to make the programming possible and we try to achieve some low cost advantage at the second point we are going to have some crafts work and we have brought an example of a plumber so that he has got some existing procedures and he is adapting them to new situations and we have continued with the engineering production and brought an example of the architect where the variety of tasks is very high but we we know what to expect and we know how to solve these problems so that the the routine or or the possible programming perspective makes it much easier but then we have moved to the, to the hardest or to the most complex task which are going to be or which are considered the non-routine tasks especially for the research where it is impossible to predict or to program and these tasks are very complex so hopefully see you in next video